Hi, a few weeks ago I posted a video for a client who had some lower back issues. I had a great response to that video with a lot of people saying that it drastically improved how their lower back was feeling. But I had a few private messages saying, although they did have some improvement, they still had a few issues. So I wanted to help those guys today and give you an extra two drills to add in um, to the last week's and last post about lower back soreness. Lower back doesn't have much to do with the lower back when it's sore. It's everything else and that movement center becomes locked up. So today we're gonna to look at some ankle restrictions. We're gonna stand up nice and tall. I want you to roll that outside part of the ankle so that underneath our lateral malleolus out eight times to the side. So just one foot at a time, letting my ankle drop out to the side. Now I'm not letting my rest of my hips and my back move. I'm just trying to open up that hip through here. Eight times both sides, of course. If one is worse than the other, repeat it on that side. The next one I want you to work on is a three put three point ankle drop. So squeeze right between the middle zone of your ankle on the outside part on a 45 degree angle and on the inside part on a 45 degree angle. We take one foot behind the body, we point our toes up towards the ceiling and we work that middle zone first, dropping down eight times. Three, four, five, nice big deep drops into that area. Without moving, same foot, we then kick our foot ankle out to the side, our toes stay in the same position, and we work that outside zone that we pressed in on the second occasion. So we're dropping down there eight times. After we've done eight times through there, we now move our foot to the outside, so toes to the outside, our ankle down to the inside, and we're working that inside zone eight times. Dropping down through there, and this one often cause a lot of distress because of how tight and stuck that ankle joint is. So take it easy, work safely and comfortably. We're not looking for pain, we're trying to reduce pain. The next thing I want you to work on is a saphenous nerve glide. Now the saphenous is the biggest sensory component of your femoral nerve. So it's a really important nerve that never gets any love. I want you to take your foot against the wall. I'm letting the outside part of my foot come up against the wall. I lunge out to the front. From here, I then rotate over the top of my lunge leg through here. Shoulders are, uh, are facing straight ahead. Outside foot is facing away from the body. From here, I'm just dropping down, pushing these hips forward and feeling a nice big stretch down through the inside part of my thigh. After I've done about eight to 12 drop downs through here, with making sure it's nice and comfortable, I can then increase the stretch further by bringing my right arm up. So my right leg is back, my right arm comes up, and I push those hips, I rotate as far as I can around in the opposite direction from my right foot. So I'm twisting my torso left, dropping down, and working on eight reps. After I've done eight to 12 reps, pulses through there, obviously you repeat on the other side. I hope that helps a few of the guys that I couldn't help enough last week. If you're still having issues, please just send me a message, comment on something else that's giving you some dramas, and I'll put up another video for you. Thanks again.